The Art of War is an ancient Chinese military treatise dating from the late spring and autumn period, roughly 5th century BC. It is a tribute to the military strategist and philosopher Sun Tzu. The work is composed of 13 chapters and covers a broad range of military topics, including maneuvers, deception, psychology, leadership, and the use of terrain. It emphasizes the importance of careful planning, knowledge of one's enemy, and the use of subterfuge to achieve victory with minimal losses. The art of war has been translated into many languages and demands a classic text on strategy and warfare. It has been widely applied not only to military, but also to business, politics, and other competitive endeavors. Here are some of the reasons why the art of war is still relevant today. It focuses on strategy over tactics. The art of war emphasizes the importance of developing a sound overall strategy rather than focusing on individual battles. This is just as important in business and other competitive fields as it is in warfare. It emphasizes the importance of understanding your opponent or enemy. The art of war stresses the need to understand your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. This is essential in any competitive situation, whether you are trying to win a business deal or defeat a competitor in a sport. Sun Tzu said in The Art of War that victory is easy only when you know your enemy and yourself. In the war between Russia and Ukraine, Russia expected that the Ukrainian army would quickly collapse and the war would end swiftly, but Russia underestimated Ukraine. However, Ukraine showed much stronger resistance than expected, which greatly frustrated Russia's plan to end the war in a short period of time. Russia overlooked and underestimated the unwavering patriotism and unity of Ukraine's soldiers and civilians. However, the Ukrainian people strongly resisted, which made Russian occupation difficult in the short term. Russia thought that Western countries would be passive in supporting Ukraine because they were receiving cheap energy from Russia. However, the United States and the European Union imposed strong sanctions on Russia and provided military and economic support to Ukraine. Russia may have one of the most powerful militaries in the world, but as the war drags on, the country is struggling economically, and the morale of its soldiers is declining due to numerous casualties. The Art of War stresses the adaptability and deception. The Art of War teaches the importance of being adaptable and using deception to your advantage. These skills are essential in any competitive environment. In the war between the United States and Vietnam, the United States struggled to adapt to guerrilla tactics using Vietnam's tropical jungles and the Ho Chi Minh Trail, eventually withdrawing, which can be seen as a failure in adaptability. Cheating is also prevalent in sports, and fainting motions in soccer and basketball can sometimes be seen as a form of cheating. The art of war is complex and nuanced work that can be interpreted in many ways. However, its core principles of strategy, knowledge, and deception remain relevant to this day. Thank you for watching. This is Sarah. I worked alongside Tony. Thank you.